guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be another episode in my series of Blank Picks My Makeup. I did Instagram Picks My Makeup, I've done Amazon Picks My Makeup. You guys seem to really love these videos, so I wanna continue on. And today, we are gonna be doing Siri Picks My Makeup. Now, I first saw Stephanie Toms do this on her channel. I believe she came up with the idea, and it is a great, great idea. I couldn't wait to try it myself and see what Siri can come up with for me. And I'll put her video link in the description so you guys can check it out after this one. And yeah, basically what we're gonna do is ask Siri to pick each of our makeup products in a full face of makeup. Hey Siri, show me pictures of makeup primer. Here are some images of makeup primer I found on the web. Okay, so that's the first one that comes up. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and I think I do have that, so that's what I'd be using. And then we'd continue that kind of method for each of the products for a full face. We'll just keep asking Siri, search for this, search for that. When it comes to the eyeshadow, it's gonna get a little bit more complex and choosing different colors and things like that, but Stephanie thought of a really good system, so we're gonna use her system and we'll get to that later on in the video. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. Join my S Club by hitting that red button down below. I drop two videos a week, you don't wanna miss out on them because if I do say so myself, they're pretty bomb. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So let's ask Siri about a primer again and see if she comes up with the same thing. Hey Siri, show me pictures of makeup primer. Here are some images of makeup primer I found on the web. So we've got two e.l.f. primers. I definitely have one of these. Let me grab that. Okay, so I have the e.l.f. poreless primer right here. Siri, I haven't used this in a while. I've been kind of moving more towards hydrating primers and the less super mattifying pore filling ones just because I'm trying to see how that affects my skin if it makes my pores smaller. But I'll just put this in my t-zone it smells so good i forgot how good it smells it definitely mattifies it's pretty thick though so that's why i only like to use it in my t-zone where my pores are the largest all right moving on to foundation hey siri search foundation makeup i found this on the web for foundation makeup so there's a bunch of articles or links this first one and it's the sephora website searching foundations i don't have this dior one but i do have the nars radiant longwear foundation so let's apply that i'm using it in the shade santa fe I'm I'm not quite sure if this is my shade though because I've got a tan recently and I haven't used this foundation in a little while. So let's apply this. I have the little tester that they sent us and let's blend that in. This is such a good lightweight medium to full coverage foundation. It really is. I need to get the full size version. So far, the choices aren't that bad. I'm not hating them. It could get a little crazy once we get to the eyeshadows, but so far so good. Thank you, Siri. Looking out for your girl. All right, now let's see what concealer she chooses. Hey Siri, search makeup concealer. I found something on the web for makeup concealer. Take a look. Okay, again, the first link is Sephora, so I'm assuming she's just searching concealer. Now, the first one is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I think I have that. I might have ran out of it, but I'm gonna check. If not, the second one is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. I never really use that as a concealer, but I know I have that one, so if I don't find the NARS one, I'll get the Fenty Match Stick. So I didn't have the right shade in the NARS Creamy Concealer, so we're gonna move on to the second choice, which is the Fenty Match Stick in the shade Linen. Now, this I would use more as like a brightener, not as a concealer just because I didn't find that it's enough coverage to cover up my dark circles and discoloration on my under eye there. But I mean, let's give it a go. I never really went back to it as a concealer for that reason. And it's just an extra step to use it as a brightener. So I'll be honest, I haven't really touched this very often because I'll usually just brighten with powder instead of another cream. But today we'll use it as a concealer. Let's blend that out. Like when I'm blending it out, I feel like it just goes away. <laughs> There's no coverage. It's very, very lightweight. So I like that. If you kind of like the no makeup makeup look, Look, I feel like you would like this as a concealer because I'm a full coverage girl. I don't really like it as a concealer. I would use it more of like a brightening, touch up type of thing after you apply concealer and all that just to highlight the T-zone and under eye area. But see, as just a concealer, it's not giving me enough coverage that I really like. You can still see the darkness underneath my eyes. If you don't have that issue, you probably would like this as a concealer, but Siri doesn't know my issues, so she picked Fenty. All right, let's search for an eyeshadow primer. Hey Siri, search eyeshadow primer. I found this on the web for eyeshadow primer. So it's an Ulta Beauty link. Looks like the first one is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I have that, so let's use it. So here we have it, the Primer Potion. Honestly, I feel like they changed the formula of this, and ever since then, I kind of stopped using it, and I can't really pinpoint what exactly is different about it that I wasn't so into, but I feel like it just didn't do as good of a job keeping my eyeshadow from creasing and all that as it did before. So I kind of stopped using it too. It's not terrible, it's just not 
about as like good as my MAC Soft Ochre and my MAC Soft Ochre also just gives me more coverage. Again, because I have such discoloration on my eyelids, I prefer that. But Siri wants us to use this one, so we're gonna use it. Let's just blend that in. Eyeshadow primer's done. Let's see what brow product Siri recommends. Hey Siri, search brow products. Here's what I found on the web for brow products. Have a look. Okay, so it's an article by Allure. 15 awesome eyebrow products that the editors swear by. The Boy Brow from Glossier. I actually don't have that, but I do want to try that. Oh, I do think I have this, the Ico Brow Gel. And then the next one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. So I have both of those. Let me go get the Ico Brow Gel. So here's the Ico Brow Gel, Style and Define. It looks like it's only one shade, so I'm a little worried. I'm not normally a brow gel kind of girl. I actually have never used this product for that reason. They were nice enough to send it to me, but I really don't like making my brow hairs thicker just because they're so coarse already. But I find when I use like really thickening brow gels, my brows like come out to here and it's not cute. Also, I like to bleach my brows to make them a little bit lighter and this is tinting them really dark and I don't like them that dark. And a brow gel is really good if you like a super filled in brow, but I like to be really precise with where I fill my brow in so it doesn't look too blocky. So I usually use a pencil, which is why I haven't reached for this yet. Siri wants us to give it a chance, so here we go. It's not even strong enough to kind of like keep my brow hairs into place. So it filled them in and made the hairs feel a little bit thicker, but I'm not feeling it. It's hard to make a more defined brow because it's kind of just gets everywhere. I feel like this is good if you're a beginner and you just like a quick thing to fill in your brows, but if you like to shape and you like to basically completely redo your brow shape, then you probably probably like me and you prefer a pencil. So we're gonna use the next option, which is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. That was the next one on the list. Just to fix up my brow here, extend it at the front, and then fill in the areas where I had no hairs so that brow gel couldn't really fill them in. This is much better for me. So brows are done. Next up, let's do bronzer. Hey Siri, search bronzers. I found this on the web for bronzers. All right, first link is Ulta again. Let's see what the first one that comes up. Ooh, yes, I love the butter bronzer. So Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Let me grab that. Here it is. It smells so good. Like summer and happiness and tanning and bronzy goodness. I was addicted to this one for a little while and then I kind of forced myself to start trying other things again because when you have this much makeup, you can't stick to one product. It's just unfair to all the other bronzers. But I do really love it. It's a great drugstore option and I find it applies like a lot of high-end bronzers because it applies very subtly and then you can build it and you're not going to get that like streaky harsh bronze. I need to match my face to my body. Good choice, Siri, good choice. Now I would normally have already set my under eye and everything, but I didn't know if Siri was gonna choose any cream bronzers or cream blushes or cream highlights, so I thought I'd wait. Cause going in with a cream after you've already powdered your face will just make you look like a cakey mess. And Siri does not know the order of makeup. She doesn't. That looks so good, I love this bronzer. So next up, let's do blush. Hey Siri, search makeup blushes. Here's what I found on the web for makeup blushes. Okay, the first one is a NARS blush in the shade Orgasm, classic. That's a classic NARS blush. Pretty sure I have it. Okay, so I somehow could not find my NARS Orgasm blush. I think I really just need to do some organizing with my makeup because I feel like I definitely have it. But the next option that I had is the new Urban Decay Back Talk palette. Look at this palette, guys. It's pretty cool. Not really seen anything like it before. There's this mirror that you can take out and then it can be set in the middle. One side is like face powders, the other side is eyeshadows. So how we're gonna pick which blush kind of color to use is ask Siri to pick a number between one and four because there's four shades here. Stephanie is a genius. She thought of this strategy to be able to pick like something random. So let's see if she can do that. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and four. Random number between one and four is one. All right, Siri. So I guess we're gonna use the first one because I was thinking like one, two, three, four. So she chose this one. Let's do it. I would normally reach for one of these two shades here. I'm not really like a a purple blush kind of girl, but Siri wants me to use it, so let's do it. Okay, I'm getting carried away really quickly here. It's a really nice blush formula. They are really pigmented, but it could be a little bit too much. I like a really subtle blush. That's why I usually pick one that's very peachy or similar color to like a bronzer, because too much blush just kind of freaks me out. I feel like I look like a clown. I'm getting so oily. Okay, next up, we're gonna do highlight, and then we need to set my face, because this is getting out of hand. Hey Siri, search makeup highlight. I found this 
on the web for makeup highlight. It's the Ulta Beauty website. It looks like the first one is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter Palette. I think I have that one, but if I don't, I know I for sure have the Morphe Bretman collab, so let's see. So I didn't have the Urban Decay one, but I have the Bretman Morphe one, and I love this palette, so I ain't even mad at this one. But it does have six options in there, so we're gonna do it one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll ask Siri to choose a number between one and six. Hey Siri, choose a number between one and six. Random number between one and six is five. Okay, five. I mean, that's it's a little dark for my highlight shade, but Siri wants us to use it. I mean, it'd be a beautiful highlight shade for a deeper skin tone, but for me, it just will kind of make my skin look muddy. It's looking more of like a really shimmery blush on my skin tone, and I highlighted my zit. If Siri wants us to have a chocolate highlight, we're gonna have a chocolate highlight. So that was probably the option I'm not feeling the most so far. I would never use that dark of a highlight because it just doesn't suit my skin tone. But I mean, it's a challenge, so thanks, Siri. So now I finally have all my face products done. She didn't choose any cream products, so I can set my face. I need to set my under eye, it's creasing, I'm getting oily. We need a setting powder. Hey Siri, search makeup setting powders. I found this on the web for makeup setting powders. First link is the Sephora website again. Let's see what the first thing that comes up is. Yes, okay. One of my favorite setting powders. We got the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. That one's boring. I'm happy about this choice though, because that's what I would pick. I literally keep it right in my desk right here. So let me just get rid of that creasing from the matchstick and let's bake using this powder. I'm also gonna press that in on all the areas that get really oily. I'm actually running out of this powder. I should buy some more. So while that bakes, let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. Hey Siri, search eyeshadow palettes. I found this on the web for eyeshadow palettes. We have the ColourPop website and the first palette that comes up is Fame. I think I have this one. So I didn't have Fame, but I do have Fortune, which is this one right next to it. So good enough. Here it is. It's such a beautiful palette. I've already used it once. So there's 16 shades in here. We're gonna ask Siri five different times to pick a number between one and 16. So that way she chooses the shades and I think five shades is enough to create a look. That's what Stephanie did and it worked really well for her. So let's do that. Hey Siri, choose a number between one and 16. Random number between one and 16 is three. So the third eyeshadow in this palette is this guy right here. Actually a really good color for a crease. Loving it, I would choose this. Next up, let's see what she picks. Hey Siri, choose a number between one and 16. Random number between one and 16 is 11. 11 is this guy right here, shade 500. And that's like a nice brownish red shade. I can work with that. So let's use this shade just to deepen up the crease a bit because it goes actually really well with that transition shade. I'm also gonna pop that on the outer corner here. That's kind of almost reddish. I thought it was brown, but it's going on kind of red. I'm going for a red look. All right, let's see what the next shade is. Hey Siri, choose a number between one and 16. Random number between one and 16 is nine. Nine is, ooh, this pretty gold shimmer. Siri's given us gold. It actually is pretty helpful that the palette itself kind of all, you know, works together. You can kind of create a look with all of these shades. It's not like you get a blue versus like a yellow, you know. Siri's setting us up for success here. So now that we have that gold shade, I've actually decided that I also want to put this on the inner corner and create kind of like a halo eye with that gold. So we're going back in with that other shade she chose called 500. First, I'm gonna clean it up with some concealers so we have a fresh base and the color can really pop because we're gonna try and slay this look for Siri. All right, so now we got a fresh blank canvas in that center there, and that's where we're gonna put Novu. Those look so pretty together. It kind of looks like a sunset because it's like a yellow gold against that red. Okay, Siri knows what she's doing. Now I do kind of want to bring that in the center and the bottom there, but I want to see what else she chooses so we don't ruin the look. We'll see what we can do with the rest of the shades that she chooses. Hey Siri, choose a number between one and 16. Random number between one and 16 is nine. Again? No, Siri, we're doing this again. We're not using the same shade. Choose a number between one and 16. Random number between one and 16 is nine. Why does this girl keep choosing nine? So we have three shades, we need two more. Siri, come on. She keeps choosing nine and 11. We've already used those, Siri. We've already used those. I mean, okay, I guess we can continue to use them. We'll put the gold shade on the bottom, right in the center of my lower lash line. Hey Siri, choose a number between one and 16. Random number between one and 16 is 12. 12, thank you, Siri. Finally, not nine or 11. 12 is Trove, which is like this purple shade right here. I mean. 
it's pretty similar to 500, that red shade we used, but let's see what we can do with it. So this is the fourth shade. I'm gonna ask Siri one more time, but I think I'm gonna bring this shade on the lower lash line. It really just looks the same as the red one, but at least they go together. Put that on the inner corner of the lower lash line. All right, it's coming together. I'm not hating the look so far. Let's do one more shade. Hey Siri, choose a number between one and 16. Random number between one and 16 is 15. Okay, so that's the second last shade. It's this really pretty plum shimmer shade. Not gonna lie, I probably would have stopped the look here already, but I guess, where should we put that? I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just take that and place it right on the inner corner of my lower lash line and have a little pop of shimmer there. There we go, that'll do. Kinda was hoping she would choose 16 so I can add some more depth and run that along my lash line. That's probably what I'd normally do, but she just decided to do another purple shimmer. She's choosing fun colors. Now let's wipe off our baking powder since we are done with the shadows and we can move on to mask. Mascara. Hey Siri, search mascaras. I found something on the web for mascaras. Okay, taking me to L.com. These are the 10 favorite mascaras. Okay, the first one is the Benefit Roller Lash and I do have that. All right, here it is, let's apply. This is an OG mascara, it's really good. It does a good job of separating and making your lashes longer without making them look clumpy. And it's really easy to get right to the root of your lash because of the small, short bristles. So I do like this mascara. Mascara is done. Then let's move on to false lashes. Hey Siri, search false lashes. First link is to Sephora, searching fake eyelashes. So first up is Sephora collection. I don't think I have any of their lashes. Huda Beauty, let's see. So the first option for Huda Beauty lashes is in the style Giselle or Claudia. I think I have those. I'm gonna go see what I have in Huda Beauty lashes. So for the Huda Beauty lashes, I had the third option, which is Samantha number no. sevens. These are one of my favorite style of lashes. So I'm not mad at this choice. They're so pretty. So let's apply that. So next up, let's do lips. Hey Siri, search lip products. I found something on the web for lip products. Take a look. Okay, it's this article from Allure again. 20 best lip balms, lip glosses, and more. Okay, let's see what the first one is. First one is Pat McGrath. I wish I had that. I don't, $38, dang. Next up is, okay, next up is Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in Posey K. I do have this. I don't wanna wear this because it's really, I feel like it's not gonna go well. We're just doing too much pink here, Siri. Okay, Posey K, I guess it is. So I have Posey K right here. Have not reached for this shade in so long. I honestly just forgot I had it and I also have way too many other lipstick that got lost in the hustle and bustle. I hate that with this eye look. I hate it. No. It is not cute. It's more of like a purple. It just doesn't go with the eye look because it's not the same color as the eye look. It's a little bit different and it just clashes a little bit, I think. I mean, it could have been worse, so I shouldn't be complaining, but I was just so impressed with the look so far that this kind of ruined it for me. This is also very drying. Maybe that's why I stopped using it. It's the matte liquid lipstick and I feel like I have liquid lipsticks that are way more comfortable than this. All right, last product is a setting spray. Hey Siri, search setting sprays. I found something on the web about setting sprays. All right, Ulta, let's see what you got. First one, heck yeah, Pep and Prime Fix Plus. All right, I'm not mad at that. Literally, I use that every day. Thank you, Siri, thank you so much. All right, you guys, so that completes the finished look. Everything that Siri picked out for me, a full face, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not that bad. I kind of like it. I was hating on the lip, but now it's kind of growing on me. What do you guys think? The zit, however, is not growing on, it's growing on me, but I don't like it. It's growing bigger, is what, I'm... anyways. But like my skin, the foundation, the eye look and the lip kind of pulled together in the end. The highlight, I thought it like wasn't looking too great, but I feel like it's kind of going well with the whole bronzy thing we have going on. And I like my makeup right now. Siri, you hooked your girl up. So this was a really fun challenge. I am very surprised at how it really kind of worked out for me. Who knew that Siri knew makeup so well? I want to continue on with this series, so let me know down below what you want me to do next. Do you want Twitter followers to choose my makeup? Do you want Google to choose me? Anything you guys have, any ideas you want to see me do in this series, let me know down below. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Don't leave here without hitting this button right here. And then check out these other videos of mine. Just continue watching. I promise you they're very good. You're gonna like them. Just, just binge watch, continue. Click this one, then click this one after. Keep watching. All right, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mwah. Bye.